Hey what's up guys, I am Sam, today I'll be showing you how you can create this breach effect in After Effects. So let's see the final effect that we will be creating today. Alright so without further ado let's get started. So I'll just take my footage and drop it to this icon to create a new composition. And there we have a footage. So we'll just leave it at this moment and we'll go to composition, new composition and we can rename it as breach texture and just set the width to 1080 and the height to 1080 as well and 10 seconds will be ok and then hit ok. So what we'll do is create a new solid and we can maybe name it as noise and hit ok, Roof effect, noise and grain fractal noise. So now we'll just play with the settings a bit. So we'll set the fractal type to dynamic twist and then we'll increase the contrast like that and even the complexity a bit. Okay and then we'll alt click on the stopwatch for evolution and type time asterisk 250 so that will animate the evolution of the fractal noise and now what we'll do is create a new solid and we can name it gradient hit ok go to effect generate gradient ramp and we'll set the ramp shape to radial ramp and then we'll set the x value of start of ramp to 540 just to bring it in the center and then we'll swap the colors so that we have the white inside and black outside and then we'll just bring this up a bit Alright, and then what we'll do is set the noise track mat to luma mat so that we have a circle and it fades out. I mean, it looks great. Alright, so now what we'll do is select the noise layer, go to effect, distort, turbulent displace. That gives it a bit of displacement like that. And we can just play with these values so we can just increase the amount a bit. And maybe decrease the size like that this looks okay then what we'll do is take both these layers and control D to duplicate them and we'll take the noise layer and just solo it for a moment and what we'll do is play with these settings again so what I'm gonna do is increase the contrast a lot and then decrease the brightness like that and then go to transform settings and decrease the scale so we get something like that maybe decrease the brightness increase the contrast and then we'll go to effect color correction curves and we'll just try to brighten it up and lighten it up so we'll just increase the alpha and RGB and we'll duplicate the curves a few more times so that looks great decrease the brightness like that okay and now we'll unsolo it so what we get is a specular kind of thing in here so what I'm gonna do is take this noise layer and select the ellipse tool and create a small ellipse mask in the center just like that okay and then set it to subtract and hit F and increase the feathering a bit and then we'll set the transfer mode of this noise layer to add. Now what we'll do is create a new adjustment layer and we can name it as glass and then we'll search for an effect named CC glass. We'll drop it onto the adjustment layer and then we'll play with these settings again. So I'll just open the surface settings and set the softness to 1 and increase the height like that and also increase the displacement a bit and then we'll go to light settings and I'll just increase the light intensity and then decrease the light height just like that so we get a glassy texture like that so now you might be noticing this harsh edge so just to fix that We'll create a new solid and we can name it as BG. Hit OK. 
and we'll just bring it all the way down that fixes all the things and one more thing that I'll just duplicate this gradient again and bring it above the glass adjustment layer and set the track mat of the glass layer to luma inverted mat so that will only affect the outer part and we'll just kind of tweak this a bit like that alright so now we'll create another adjustment layer and we can name it as we displace and then we'll go to effect distort turbulent displace and then we'll just decrease the amount to like 20 maybe and then we'll just animate the evolution so we'll just alt click on the evolution and time asterisk 100 all right so we're getting close to the effect all right so now let's create a new solid we can name it as center or maybe glow center glow hit ok then we'll go to effect generate lens flare and then we'll change the lens type to 105 millimeter prime and we'll just center this like that maybe just do it manually 540 540 then we'll go to effect color correction curves also set the transform mode to add so that we see what's happening then we'll play with the curves so we'll just create a contrast curve like that and then we'll go to effect blur and sharpen fast blur and just increase the blurriness a bit so we have something like that all right that looks good I'm just want to go to the noise layer and decrease the scale a bit like that and also the second noise layer which is actually the specular and just decrease the size or just play with these settings so what we'll do now is come to our original comp and bring our breach texture in here so we get the texture and we're gonna use a third-party plugin which is from videocopal.net and you can just download it from the description and it's actually free so you can also download from their site so we'll just go to effect video copilate and the effects name is color vibrance so we'll go to the color settings and change it to blue and hit ok and maybe decrease the intensity of vibrance and just kind of play with these values to see what looks good all right and then set the matte alpha to on so that removes the black background and you might be thinking that what the hell is this you're facing a serious problem over here so just to fix that what we'll do is duplicate the breach texture and the one that is below we can just rename it as shadow and in here what we'll do is go to effect color correction tint and set the map white to black what we'll do is just solo this for a moment and maybe just enable this transparency so that we can see what's happening so we'll just play with these settings in color vibrance so we'll just increase the gamma so that makes it more dark and we'll play with the brightness so we'll just increase the brightness and increase the preserve luminance maybe set it to white that looks okay so we'll just unsolo it and we're kind of getting close so what we'll do is select the shadow layer hit s for scale and increase the scale to maybe one or two and then go to effect blur and sharpen and fast blur and we'll just increase the blurriness like that and that looks good and another thing I did was I just duplicated this breach texture and then selected the ellipse tool and double click on it and then set the mask to subtract and we'll just solo this for a moment and disable the transparency so that we see what's happening and then hit mm and decrease the expansion so that we start to see this part and then we'll feather it like that maybe decrease the expansion a bit more so we'll just brighten this part so what we'll do is just set the color to white 
increase the vibrance, decrease the preserved luminance, brightness, and play with the gamma. And then set the transfer mode to add. And then unsolo it. So we get something like this. And we can rename this as highlight. And we're kind of not getting that look, so we'll just play with the shadows a bit. So I'll just decrease the preserve luminance and maybe increase the vibrance and kind of start playing with these values maybe and also just increase the alpha boost and that looks a bit okay and then we can just play with the highlight a bit more so we'll just go to effect color correction curves and just brighten up a bit maybe go to alpha and just make it like that play with the gamma and we can also give it a blue tint maybe go to effect color correction tint set the map white to a blue color just a little bit all right that looks good so what we have here is an ugly looking effect but we'll just try and get it to work so we'll just increase the feathering a bit hit mm and maybe decrease the mask expansion just kind of play with these values okay now what we'll do is hit F4 and turn all these layers to 3D and to control them all at the same time what we'll do is create a new null object and make it 3D2 and select all these layers and parent them to the null object so now whatever we do with the null object happens with these three layers so I'll just hit R for rotation and I'll just rotate it like that and then hit P and then bring it here like that. Alright, so what I did in the original example is I used another third party plugin for color correction. So let me show you what I did. Just make a new adjustment layer, rename it CC, go to effect, magic bullet and select looks, go to edit. And the preset I selected was this one, Fujifilm 8553. And we'll just select it and hit the stick. So we get that color correction. And now we can start to play with these effects a bit. So I can just maybe go to effect, color correction, tint. And kind of see what looks the best. Maybe just set the strength to 80. And then play with the highlight, just like that. And that looks kind of okay. And then what you'll do is go to the breach texture, select the center glow there, go to edit, copy, and then come back to this comp, go to edit, paste. And then set the center to the center like that. And you can also parent this to the breach texture. Go to the null object and maybe rotate it a bit more like that and we also just add that crop so I'll just make a new solid black solid make another black solid and we set the height to maybe 840 hit ok and hit F4 and then set the track mat of this layer to alpha mat inverted and then we can start adjusting the footage and our breach texture and then we'll add another adjustment layer and We'll add my color correction preset, so you can just download that from the description. I'll just add my color correction preset onto the adjustment layer. Maybe set the sharpen amount to 10. And what we'll do is duplicate the adjustment layer. And we delete all the effects except curves. And the second adjustment layer will delete only the curves. And this will be our color. So we'll just hit T. And decrease the opacity a bit also bring these both layers below the crop so that will look like that and now we can go to the null object and hit s and uncheck this and we'll just increase the height like that so what else we can do is go to the breach texture and set the alpha boost to 1 maybe just decrease the brightness and go to effect blur and sharpen fast blur and we set the blurriness to 2 so that it's not that sharp 
Alright, so now what we'll do is animate the breach to reveal itself at this point. So what I'm going to do is take this null layer, hit S and set the keyframe for scale I move a few frames back and set this to maybe like 50. Now what we'll do is take all these three layers, hit D, set the keyframe for opacity, move back and set it to zero. So that it fades in like that. Go to the breach texture, make another adjustment layer and go to effect, distort, bulge. And then we can just increase this to fit the whole thing like that. Maybe just 500, 500. Then what we'll do is set the bulge height to zero for now and set the keyframe. Hit U to see the keyframes and just move it ahead and just go a few frames back and set the bulge height to negative two maybe. So what it does is just bulges the effect like that. And then come to a main comp and we have this flare to adjust. So what we'll do to fix this flare is select the layer and set a keyframe for flare brightness and increase the brightness like that. And move back and set the brightness to zero. And hit U to see the keyframes. So we'll just move a few frames ahead again and set the brightness to 100. What else we can do is hit F4 and enable motion blur for these three layers and also for the comp as well. All right, that looks okay. At this point, we can have it glow or maybe just brighten up. So what we'll do is go to the breach texture and create another adjustment layer and go to effect, color correction, curves, move a few frames ahead and increase the curves like that. Set a keyframe and then move a few frames back and just reset it. Hit U to see the keyframes and then reset it again. So what this does is just maybe brightens it up and then comes back to the same settings. So let's see what we have here now. So right now we have two problems. Our breach is a perfect circle. I mean, it looks like a perfect circle. The second problem is the breach is too stabilized. I mean, we cannot see the madness and we cannot see the motion. I mean, the breach is too stabilized. So what we'll do to fix the circle problem is go to the breach texture and select this noise and go down and maybe increase the size of the turbulent displace. And then we'll alt click on the stopwatch for evolution and then type time asterisk 200. So that will just make it like that. All right, so we have a less perfect circle now. And we can just decrease the amount a bit. We'll copy this turbulent displace and paste it to the other noise layer. Maybe we'll just change the color bit like that and then change a few settings of the highlight all right so now we can start working on our hand so we can just create a new solid name it as hand Hit okay make sure it's comp size and go to effect noise and grain fractal noise and then just increase the contrast, increase the brightness, go to effect, with a co-pilot, color vibrance, and just set the color to blue. Then go to effect, stylize, glow, and just increase the radius like that. Maybe just go to fractal noise and decrease the brightness like that. Then we'll hit F4 and set the transfer mode to add or maybe screen then we'll just hit the eye switch off and then we'll just create a rough mask around our hand and this part like that hit the eye switch on spring it all the way down and then we can just hit f and feather it and now we can just play with these things then we'll select the hand layer and hit m and keyframe the mask path and start with just 
the mask. All right. Now to make this fade in, what we'll do is take the rectangle tool and create a mask here like that and set it to subtract and hit F and increase the feathering like that and then hit M again and set a keyframe for mask path and just move it all over it and then we'll scrub ahead and move it away just like that now you can go to effect color correction tint and then decrease the amount like that maybe 5 or 10 and also hit T and decrease the opacity to 90 or maybe 80 just make sure to bring it down the color correction layer and let's see what we have here now All right, not bad what else we can do is select the hand layer and go to effect distort ripple and we can just solo this layer so that we can see what's happening and we can increase the radius and move the center of the ripple here and increase the wave speed to maybe 5 or something and increase the wave width and also the wave height like that and then we go to effect distort and turbulent displace and we can just decrease the size and maybe just increase the amount a bit and then let's see what we have here we can also play with the evolution so we can just alt click on the evolution time asterisk 200 so that it animates over time maybe just decrease the height of the ripple a bit and finally what you can do is take this breach texture and go to effect and add turbulent displace on the final effect so we can just increase the amount and decrease the size like that and then also animate the evolution so alt click time asterisk 200 or maybe 500 and then let's see the effect all right that looks great i hope you all learned something new from this tutorial i know that this doesn't look perfect it's all about playing with these values and playing with these effects to get the look that you want there are a lot of possibilities of what you can do with this effect so keep experimenting and i'll see you next time Thanks for watching and goodbye. Bam.